If getting access to high-speed internet anywhere that you go is something that's important to you, then you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Sam at Veritas Fans, and today we're gonna go over a quick tutorial and step-by-step -step process about how you use and set up our roof rack adapters. So the first thing that I'll say about our roof rack adapters is that it's not your common luggage rack roof rack adapters. It's for people that are using 80-20 rails. So I will be having a mock 80-20 rail that I'll set on this table and show how we set up. That's where you run a T-bolt through it, and then you bolt down through these open areas right here. Now, you don't necessarily need to use uh, that type of rail system. Honestly, anything that you can throw a bolt through here and put a washer and mount this down, that's going to work for you, right? But when we do say roof rack adapter, that's what we're referring to. Now, when you first order the mount, it's going to, when you're going through the process of building out your mount, you'll notice that we have our bare mount here. So if you order the mount and the roof rack adapters, what it's going to come with is our bare mount like this. And then you're going to have the roof rack adapters in it along with an Allen key that's gonna help you take out the threaded insert. So let's go ahead and take apart this mount right here and then show how we put it all together. So the first step is just gonna be backing out all these screws and separating the backing from the hard top. And don't judge me if I have a Ryobi. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. Separate this and we will be moving the tops from here. So I'm gonna separate the top part of the backing. We're gonna reuse these screws, so keep the screws nearby. I'll just throw them in the hard top right here. And now it's time to take out the threaded inserts. So I'll actually move these over to the side. So on our hard top, we have a bunch of threaded inserts here. And the Allen key that we gave is when you ordered the rack adapter comes with the Allen key that fits our threaded inserts. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna back out the ones on the outside. I just had to line that up real quick. So it's our outside thread inserts. And we'll just back these out and these just spin right out. All right, once you have those threaded inserts out, now you can go ahead and place the mini inside the hardtop face. Slide the mini in there. And then since this is CNC cut, precision cut, you'll notice that the mini just like fits perfectly in there. It doesn't shake at all inside of our hardtop. I'll go ahead and put the sides on first. And then we can slide on the rack adapter. And then just flip it around. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same exact bolts and we just now move it in through the top. And just like that, you have the rack adapters on and this is ready to get mounted on. So let's go ahead and jump over and show how you'd put this on an 80-20 rail. But once again, as you can see, all this does is create mounting points for you. So an 80-20 rail, all you're gonna do is run a T-bolt through here and mount it down. But honestly, any way that you can run a bolt through here and bolt it down is gonna do the trick. So let's go ahead and show that. All right, so here is just a rail, 80-20 rail that's not currently mounted on anything, but we're just gonna demo real quick using it. Another question that we always get is when we're selling our rack mount adapters, people are asking, how come you don't include the bolts that are needed to mount on the 8020? And the reason is, is that there are so many different variants, sizes, lengths, diameters, you name it, for 8020 rails that you need to order the ones that are specific to the ones that you're wanting to use. So for this one right here, we had to find the T-bolt that works for this one, and that's how we're gonna mount it up. So let's go ahead and just set this down, and we'll just run some quick T-bolts on this. And then all you do is slide the Starlink in there. Line that up. And then for this one right here, just so I happen to have these spin sort of lug nuts that go on it, would recommend getting something different. But for the sake of the demonstration, all you would do is just thread these down. All right, and once these are all tightened up, you're done. So hopefully this should just lift right up. And there you have it. So if you're wanting to get this mounted on top of your vehicle and you have an 80-20 rail, we highly recommend using our rack adapters. And that's just a quick overview about how you mount and set it up. So if you have any questions, just feel free to shoot us a comment down below. We love to engage with people and we'll catch you on the next one.